This is uh, based on a true story, and your character, he's based on someone real. How much time did you spend learning about him? You know, I had a, a long period uh, before cameras ever rolled because um, to learn about Danny Dietz and to learn and spend time with Navy SEALs and, and meet his friends and family. Um, and uh, part of the reason for that was, was Peter Berg, before he ever actually gave me the role, he made me train for several months in a uh, pro-athlete work camp that um, basically pro athletes on their off season go to, to, tr to train, to start for the new season. So it's, uh, to call it an uh, intense gym routine would probably be putting it a little bit mildly. But this was something that was important for Pete, that I was in the right shape, and he pushed the trainer, T.R. Goodman, um, to really put me in uncomfortable places uh, mentally because he wanted to, as best as he can for an actor, obviously, he wanted to mimic um, putting me in a position where I felt like I wanted to quit or where the anger kind of came to the surface and it was about learning to kind of keep that in check and to not quit and to never say you're tired and to never complain and to never talk back and to keep going. And, and uh, Pete made it very clear to me early on in that process that uh, if I were to ever break, uh, I, he wouldn't give me the role. And so this was several months of that, so it was, it was pretty wild. Now, you've done several biopics. Is there something in particular that draws you to those? Yeah, there's something um, something special about, you know, I find, uh, you know, reality and, and real people, and there's a lot of extraordinary individuals that have lived that deserve to have their stories told properly, and uh, I feel like Danny Dietz is, uh, and, the, and the other men of uh, the teams that are in the film are extraordinary human beings that deserve to have their story told and what Danny and Matt Axelson and Michael Murphy and Marcus Luttrell went through on that mountain is something that very few people uh, will will ever ever go through and um, the way that you know they fought and the way that they kept going and for how and how long they lasted in that firefight before they were eventually overcome was a uh, it's something that's a real testament to the men and women in uniform and the sacrifices that they're willing to make for their job. And this isn't a political movie. This is not a, a, a pro-war, anti-war movie. It's not a Democrat, Republican movie, left, right. Because at the end of the day, no matter what you believe, you're eventually going to need these guys at your back for something. Because these are the guys that we have that come and, and, and take care of the bad things in the night. Now. Looking at future projects for you, you actually have another biopic coming up, right? You've got the uh, John yeah. Belushi one coming up. Yeah. Where are you with that? I imagine there's a whole, I mean, for this you had a lot of weight training, right? For there, you, are you, do you have a whole weight gain regimen you have to undergo? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. There's probably going to be a little bit of that. I, I can't say for certain what exactly it will be. Um, you know, it could be a variety of things. I don't know. I'm, I, uh, I would encourage people not to worry too much about that. We're going to take care of that. and. Uh, you know, just enjoy the film.